welcome back to my YouTube channel, Flores TV. At sa araw na ito, ang pag-uusapan po natin ay bakit nga ba ang katoliko ay nagkakaroon ng sign of the cross? Ginagamit kasi natin ito at saan natin ito ginagamit? Bakit natin ito ginagamit? Paano natin ito ginagamit? Ano ang benefits o simbolo ng paggamit o pagsasagawa ng sign of a cross? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, panoodin po natin sa pagkatatalakayin po natin kung ano ang importansya ng sign of the cross sa mga Katoliko. See you! Kung hindi nga po pala kayo nakakasubscribe sa aking channel, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click the bell button for your notification sa susunod nating pag-aaral para po sa pagpapalalim ng ating pananampalataya bilang Kristiyano. Lika, pag-aralan natin. Siya nga po pala, kung gusto po natin na mayroon subtitle, ito po ay Tagalog subtitle. So, kung gusto po natin ng English subtitle, i-click natin itong setting katabi po ng CC. So, click natin ang subtitle, gawin natin English. So, ayan po, nabago sa English. Kung gusto naman po nyo ng Tagalog, i-click natin dito at lagay natin yung Tagalog. So, ayan po ang subtitle. Kung gusto po natin, kung nalingguahe. Salamat po. Hello, ito na po tayo ulit sa ating pagbabasa ng magazine na Know the Truth, a publication to defend the Catholic faith. So, babasahin po natin ulit ang uh, magazine na isinulat ni Father Paul uh, Kaiparambadan. Siya po ay isang Indian pare na nagpunta dito sa Pilipinas at uh, scholar po siya dito at siya po ay for doctoral study. So, napunta po siya dito sa Pilipinas para po sa doctoral study. At ito nga po, isinulat niya ang Know the Truth. So, ang ating pong tatalakay ngayon ay bakit nga ba tayo gumagamit bilang katoliko ng sign of the cross? So, basahin ko na lang po sa inyo. At uh, para po rin sa mga gusto ng uh, Tagalog version, i-click lang po yung setting. Ituro ko po sa inyo kung paano yung pag, pagbabago ng language. Side of the cross, the great tradition of Catholics. To be proud of the side of the cross was monk and teased today by some anti-Catholic. We Catholic, uh, the sign of a cross on our forehead, decorate our churches with cross and administer sacrament with the same sign. The biblical basis when we make the sign of the cross, we proclaim the message of salvation purchased by Jesus through the cross. The Bible clearly states, for the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing but to us who are being saved this is the power of god 1 corinthians 1 chapter 1 17 18 the bible teaches to be proud of it as the message of the cross is the power of god but god forbid that i should boast except in our cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world. Galatians chapter 6.14 Cross symbolizes our day-to-day -day suffering without which there is no crown for Christians. When Peter tried to keep Jesus away from the cross, he called Peter Satan. So it is clear Satan is afraid and keeping himself away from the cross, as it is through the cross. Jesus destroyed devil's kingdom and saved mankind from the slavery of sin and death. 
Early Christians, even before the Bible was formed, kept the spiritual practice in common to keep Satan away and to save themselves from the power of evil. Cyril of Jerusalem wrote in AD 386, Let us therefore not to be ashamed of the cross of God, but through another hide it, the to do thou openly seal it upon thy forehead, that the devil may behold the royal sign and flee trembling far away. Make them this sign of uh, make then this sign at eating and drinking, at sitting, at lying down and rising up and speaking at and walking and in the word at every act. A prim of Syria testified in AD 373, make all your action with a sign of the life-giving cross. Do not go out from the door of your house till you have signed yourself with the cross. Do not neglect that sign whether in eating and drinking or going to the sleep or going to sleep or in the home of going on a journey. There is no habit to be compared with it. Let it be a protecting wall around all your conduct and teach it to your children and they may earnestly learn the custom. Thousands of saints used the sign to be victorious over satanic attack as it is true the sign Jesus made possible. The forgiveness of our sin in the Christian word sign of the cross was widely used very effectively in exorcism throughout the centuries. Christians must use this sign proudly as it trembles Satan and the Bible prove it. Jesus said to us, Take your cross and follow me. Centuries old spiritual experiences of holy people show Satan is afraid of the sign of the cross and he hates it. They and uh, other anti Christian religion uh, all crosses is one of the commands of Pandoctrina, the official teaching. Jesus said to us, Take your cross and follow me. Centuries old spiritual experiences of a holy people show Satan's in afraid of the sign of the cross and he hates and he hates it. So um, may those who are anti Christ hates the sign of the cross. This is his commandment that we believe in Christ crucified but where humility is. There is also majesty where weakness is. There shall one find power where death is. There shall be life as well. If we wish to arrive at the second part, do not despise the flesh. Making the sign of the cross seems like such a simple action. It takes less than a minute to complete. And as a Catholic, we do it so often and it's all too easy to take it for granted and do it without giving it much thought. But in reality, it is the simple things that have the greatest impact of our lives. It's also those simple things that can either empower us or weaken us as we deal with the more complex things in life. In September 1984, St. Paul, St. John Paul II gave the homily to Canadian Catholics to honor the solemn celebration for the Feast of the Triumph of the Cross of Christ. He spoke about what the cross means to all of us. The cross contains in itself the mystery of salvation because in the cross love is lifted up and then Holy Pontiff said to the crown 
reverence shun the road. The individual must be mindful to the Holy Trinity, that central dogma that makes Christians Christians. Also, the individual must remem remember that the cross is a sign of our salvation. Jesus Christ, true God, who become true man, offer the perfect sacrifice for our redemption from sin on the altar of the cross. This simple yet profound act make each person mindful of the great love of God for us, a love that is stronger than death and promises everlasting life. The sign of the cross should be made with purpose and precision, not hastily or carelessly. Eh, this is the sign. This is like the finger. So this is like the finger. You form your finger like this. This is the forehead. Forehead first in the name of the Father. Second in your chest and of the Son. Third to your uh, left shoulder on the holy and the last fourth is goes amen the sign of the cross is connected to our baptism for those of us who were born and raised in the catholic faith one of the first time we encountered the sign of the cross was during one of the most important events in our life we experience the blessing when we receive the holy sacrament of baptism at the beginning of the baptism ceremony, the sign of the cross is made on our head and close to our heart. It signifies that we will belong to Christ. It's also a sign of the grace of redemption that Jesus gave us when he gave his life to redeem us. The sign of the cross is also then, as a children and adult, we are reminded of our baptism through the sign. In most Catholic churches, baptism font filled with the holy water are located near the church entrance. When we make the sign of the cross using the holy water after entering the church, we once again make commitment to Jesus in this special way, and we prepare ourselves to worship God later when we make the sign of the cross before exiting the charge we prepare ourselves to take the words of god and the holy eucharist that we receive out in the word this is a picture when we had a baptism and also when and where do you do the sign of the cross as i said when you enter and exit uh from when you enter to the church and when you exit it when you sit from the church and when you do praying like this when you enter the church and when you eat when you pray uh, when you go to sleep and also when you go out from your house and this uh, when you do a prayer meeting and also during the Ash Wednesday so when and where Pope and priest bless the people in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit yes when you all you when you attend the mass after the final a final prayer of the of pope and our priest uh, they bless us in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit so that's end i hope uh, you learned something from this video and <laughs>